Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. This week I'd like to do a little bit of a recap, do some revision, uh, take us back to our school days with our highlighters and our post-it notes and our reams of paper and all of that kind of stuff. But I'd like to do a recap because as I said a few weeks ago, we in the West as Christians have got into a bit of a bad habit of loading up with loads and loads and loads and loads of holy knowledge, which is good, but not being so good at translating that immediately into obedience, into holy action. And that means that this holy knowledge kind of starts going off in the pantry of our lives, starts over ripening and starting to smell a bit iffy and creating unhealthy dynamics because we're not putting it into action. So I'd like to just recap uh, and I've put these in the form of some challenging questions which I've listed below. You can copy and paste them and journal your way through them later if you like. Um, and that's just a way of us being able to assess how much progress we've made. Have I moved forwards on some of this stuff? Um, if you haven't, don't beat yourself up about it. But that, that would help to reinforce this thing I've been saying of, oh, have I just been watching these videos and learning all this stuff but not actually doing anything about it? And just taking that to God and saying, Lord, help me with this. I want to be somebody who hears. And when I recognise that it's from you, does something about it. So there we go. And the questions are, are listed below, like I said, and they are these. What does my habitus l currently look like? We, you know, if you mapped it, what does my day, my week my look like in terms of the habits that I, I keep? What core values and priorities do they reveal to the world about me? So if an alien came down, what would they conclude based on the way I act in my daily life? What would they conclude is most important to me? And is that Jesus? What one good habit am I currently working at building into my habitus? Recognising that takes a lot of work and elbow grease and time and energy and accountability and all the rest of it. Have I identified what that is and am I working at it? Flip side of that, what one bad habit am I trying to get rid of? Maybe by replacing it with a good habit, but do I know what it is? Have I got it in my sights? Have I got a strategy for overcoming it? What's my next step and how am I taking it? Who am I accountable to and how's that going? What's the temperature of that intentionality in my relationships? What's the level or quality of my exposure to those who are passionate about Jesus? Am I plugging into Christian community regularly? Have I got mentors and friends who are teaching me and forming me in the way of Christ? And the flip side of that is, am I playing that role myself? Who am I spurring on to love and good deeds? So quite enough questions to be getting on with. I hope that's a helpful exercise and an encouraging one and one which um, helps our habitus to become more holy. And next week we'll change tack a little bit and look at something a little bit new. So I look forward to seeing you then.